<laughs> g'day, g'day, g'day. Jimmy here with Christine. Hello. And Heather. Howdy. In the number one cooking, chilli coffee cooking show in Australia, New Zealand, the Southern Hemisphere, and guess what? The whole wide world. And have we got a show here for you today. Ha <laughs> ha. And we are going to be doing a great piece of wonderful seafood, and I have it right here. This is a great piece of Red Emperor from Troy Howard, a really good customer of ours, who also is uh, Wahoo Air, in Air Conditioning. So there you go, nice names, eh? So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna use some other produce here too from other local producers that we've met in the last week and in the last couple of months. So what are we gonna do first? I'm gonna cut the fish up first and put that onto a piece of baking paper. But just before I do that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in the marinade. So I'm going to use, we're going to use something we haven't done on the show too much, which is our De Zero coffee. That's right, no chilli in this one, just the beautiful coffee flavour that we roast. And I'm going to come over here to the grinder, because we've got it in the grinder right here. It'll make a little bit of a racket for a second. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, Mum. No, it's, I can actually talk, but I just thought I'd do that for fun. Anyway, so there's a nice little bit of coffee in our group handle. I'll give it a little squeeze. And so because that is our De Zero, you do tamp that one, don't you, Jimmy? You do tamp that one. That's exactly right. Now, this is the beautiful Franchi oh, beautiful Franchino machine, and it's all automatic. So it's preset. Okay. Okay. It's preset at um, the, the two correct levels for a half shot, a full shot, um, all on our little computer board there. So really easy to use, really simple. And it'll go off by itself. I don't have to do anything. But while we're talking about that, Jimmy, yes. there's some cool coffee tools that we want to get in it tomorrow, isn't there? Um, I think, yeah, if anyone needs any coffee tools um, from for your own home installation, guess what? Aldi has a nice little set tomorrow that you can get. I'm just going to leave this little shot of coffee right and now. And we're going to go and get one of those sets and do a, a little live video review on it next on tomorrow afternoon. We will do that. Now, I am just going to cut this piece of fish. And we've got two big pieces of fish here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a nice piece of this um, and I'm going to, I'm just going to trim the end so it looks nice like this. Trim the end nice off there and I'll trim the end off nice off down here as well. Now we are going to use all of this fish later and eat that later ourselves, but I'll just Yum. put that right there for now. That's perfect. And I'll put this one away back in the fridge because we don't want it to, uh, we don't want it to get too warm. We want to cook that later. So I'll just put it back in the fridge. Bingo, like that. Fantastic. Now, oh, wrong drawer. This is the one I wanted. I've got a little bit of paper. Got to make sure I just wipe my hands. Go away, fly. One fly. We've been getting rid of these flies all day. There's just one fly. We have to make a marinade. Now, the marinade's going to be our coffee, a little cream. It's also going to be butter and a little garlic, but we found something at the supermarket. Mainland, good things, mainland, take time. It's a garlic butter, so why not use a garlic butter? That's what we're going to use uh, for this dish. And from our good friends uh, locally, we've got some lemonade fruits, lemonade fruits. So we're gonna do a bit of juice of that, so really easy. I've got a little knife here. We're gonna take a couple of decent cubes. Now, well, this butter is softened, so, softened at room, temp room temperature? Softened at room temperature? Room temperature, yeah, room temperature, Queensland. Room temperature, Queensland. <laughs> now, the, the nice thing that will be with this is that if we do have any of this marinade left later, we can make garlic bread out of it. <laughs> so I'll just put that there. And right now, into here, we want to put our coffee. There we go. We'll give that there. Um, I'll put that in the sink. We'll get a little spoon and we'll give that a little mash around. Oops. Give that a little mash around like that. I think I should have used a fork. Anyway, we'll just chop this up, get that melting a little bit more. It's just got to melt in with it. Perfect. And I will get a little fork. Luckily, Luckily it's we've got a there. fork drawer right here. Look at that. Put that on the board. Get the butter. There we go. That's better. So just mash that up, butter, garlic butter, coffee, mmm, done that. Now I'm not going to mash it all up completely, I want a little bit of butter in there, 
I'm going to get our little lemonade plant. Lemonade fruit, I should I was say. say. Maybe fruit. Lemonade fruit. I've got a very good squeezer here, a juicer. This one's a really nice and I'm just going to do a, a nice squeeze of that. That'll do for that. Beautiful. You know what that's going in? That's going in our gin later. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. Beautiful. I do have a pastry brush. I don't think I need these anymore. I've got a pastry brush. Are we, are we putting any cream in that yet? Um, not yet. I'm just going to have a little look at this and then what I will do is I will, uh, I, I've got two pieces of paper here. What I think I might do with this nice big piece of fish is get this paper and we will put this big piece of paper like this and I will, I think I'm going to pull it this way and pull it down and tie it. Hmm, I don't know. We'll have a look. But I do need some cream. I need a little bit of cream in here as well. So let's just give ourselves a generous bit of cream. Yeah. There we go. That looks really nice in there now. There is going to be some of this left. But that is A-OK -okay, um, because we shall, like I said, we'll use some later. <laughs> well, we've got that other fish we need to. We've got other fish to cook and we do have a big piece of, um, I want to say sourdough bread, yeah? Yes. Okay. So let me now just, if we just drizzle this all over this nice piece of fish, the whole thing of doing this now is to cover the fish with this and we are going to put this in a fry pan and we're going to do some little cooking on this. Just lovely. Look at that. Oh, it already looks good. I think I should just eat it now. Look at that. It's not sashimi. It's not sashimi. We're definitely going to cook it, yes. So, and this little beautiful thing like that. Now, I'll get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And I do have... I have a piece of string. You're not going to tie it up yet, though, are you? Um, why not? What about in, uh, one of our specialty products? Are they going in there? Um, I'm going to put them on in the finish. Okay. Yeah, so um, we do have a specialty product there, but uh, I'm not putting them on right now. I'm just going to put them on at the finish. So if I turn this around like this, I'm just going to fold our paper down. I'm trying to make it just so it's a little bit... Whoops. Um, that's coming. You just uh, everyone wants to know what they're doing. Okay. Beautiful. Hi, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, DP. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Can't wait to celebrate tomorrow night. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put a clove hitch on this. I'll put a little tie down here. And if you don't know how to do that, that's okay. I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to turn it around the other side. I'm just going to flatten that down a little bit, but I'm just going to take another little purchase on this. It should stay nice in the pan. Put another one on here. It's a bit flash way to tie it up. Well, it is a bit flash way, isn't it? Two half hitches. It, it turns into a turns into a clove hitch. So just make it kind of flat, like Hi, that. Hi, Wendy. And like that. That's going to go into our. Oh, supposed to go in there. Um, that's going to go into our pan. That's nice and hot. Leave that like that. I'm just going to trim this off. And that's going to go into our pan, just like that. We've got something else that's got to go into the pan too, and it's these asparagus. Now, we may have shown you this before, but a chef taught me this trick. There's a really hard little bristly bit on the end of asparagus that you would think you cook and you go, oh, that's awful. But there's a little trick to it. So if you just grab your asparagus and go like this, it breaks. That little bit there now is the rough bit and all the rest of that asparagus is actually perfect and they'll break in the same kind of places every single time. Look at that. You wouldn't think it's, it would do that, but that's it. So that's all really, uh, what is it? Woody. Woody, yeah. And now these three bits are perfect. And what I'm going to do with those is I have a little bowl of water and I have some seaweed. I have some little seaweed. We just happened to get this organic seaweed. I am going to, I'm just going to cut it right down the center like this. Boom. And I'm going to use some of the pieces. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop this into this water right here. And it's just water. That's all it is. It won't take much for it to absorb that bit of water. I'm going to pick up a piece straight onto the asparagus here, wrap it round, get another one. Do, 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 do. Wrap it round and it will start to dry up on that as well. 
and wrap it around. That's just going to go straight into a, 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 a fry pan and just steam those veggies. So I'll just let that sit there for a minute on the plate. That can just sit there and dry. We'll get rid of that. What I will do is, oops, what I will do is I've got a couple of dry ones and we'll just get them. Now they're ringing the bell. Okay. They can ring the bell. There you go. Ring the bell, ring the bell. I'm still going with the, I'm still going with this, but that's okay. <laughs> now, today's a very special day because I'm not sure, I'm not sure that they, they're talking over me. So anyway, so what is it? What did you say? We said hello, Tracy. Hello, Tracy. So there it is there. We're going to leave that right there. That's going to go in with the fish shortly. Boom, 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 boom. Sticky, sticky, That's sticky. Shortly. Okay, today. No champagne unless you can do this special, special trick today. So we've got a cork and we've got three glasses. And what you've got to do is you've got to tell me, I think Heather better come over here. Heather's going to tell me where the cork is because if you don't get where the cork is, you are not getting champagne. Now, you've got to pick the right one. And again, I'll have the champagne for later if they don't pick the right one. So they better pick the right one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm going to get the champagne later. I'm going to get the champagne later. Uh, I can get this one. Let me have a look. Oh, it is. It's right underneath there. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the champagne. Oh, my God. We have so much fun here. Um, there you go. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, you got to have a bit of fun. Yeah, got to have a bit of fun. Open this up. Thanks, Lavinia, for sending that to me on TikTok. <laughs> it was really funny when we watched it. I think I laughed a little bit too hard, but it was fantastic. So, whoa! Now, this is Andrew Borodine, and it is from... France. I know it's from France! Which is from France, but the importers are the wine community. The wine community, that's right. Hello, everyone there. Hello, Mark, and all the boys and girls at the Thanks wine to community. Jeff, our wine sommelier. That's right. Thank yes, you to everyone. You, oh my goodness me. Okay, here we go. Put the top on. Our little Cunard. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Champagne day. <laughs> like Thank, you. Right. Thank you, Andy. Andrew Borody. Andrew Borody is from Avis in France. Look, let me just leave that there. That's okay. We'll put that up on top of there. That looks nice. I'll put my glass there. Now, we've got these nice little things here that we've done so far. We've got some other bits and pieces to do. I'm going to take this to Heather because she's going to put these in the pan so we can cook this. It's just coming on right now, so we're just getting the pan prepared while we do the next part. Beautiful. So I think I might just put this over that way first and then we'll turn it back over. It's a big piece of fish. And this one we will just drop in there like that. Beautiful. Okay. Fantastic. Now, we've got another exciting, exciting, exciting oh my God. thing to do today. And it's something, so we're going to have a beautiful plate with the nice fish on it. We're going to use some other condiments, which you'll see shortly. And then we're going to have the nice asparagus. Tracy just said her new grandson was born today. So happy oh, for her. Congratulations. 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 Wow. Now. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I've got a jug with some a little bit of milk in it. I've got a bowl with a little bit of butter in it. I've got a glass bowl that I'm going to use with a masher. And we're going to make some mashed potatoes. But not in the way you think. Not in the way you think at all. We're going to use a packet of chips. We are going to make crispy bacon mashed potatoes. Are you, are you ready for this? Crispy bacon. Don't worry about the brands. So what I am going to do, I am just going to push this into here like this. Beautiful, look at that. We'll get rid of the packaging. And we've got all of this here. We're just going to give it a little squish down just so we can get the hot water into it. And we're simply going to use our coffee machine. We're going to use our coffee machine to get a little bit of hot water and we're going to put it straight in on top of these and let these chips soak it up. 
That's what we're going to do. So give them a little squash. Look at that. What's that for? The <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. Anyway, we're just going to do a little hot water like this. <laughs> Have a little look at this. Oh, I don't know what that was going to fill up, but anyway, um, let's see. We probably need a bit more than that. I'll put a bit more in. Let me get some hot water. I probably needed a bigger vessel. Well, that's the jug I got given. I got bought that. Jug. Oh, it's a heather-sized jug. Right, that's looking a bit better. Okay, so that's that's now what we've got here is we've just got some water in with these chips, and we're just reconstituting it. We're going to give it a nice little squish around. Hi, Dippin' Dots, Ray and Joan. I'm just going to come over here for a minute. <laughs> Sorry for my back. Oh. So has anyone else made mashed potato before with potato chips? Has anyone else ever seen this before? Please comment if you've seen this done before. Uh, we learnt this a uh, couple of weeks ago, and I tell you, I, I at and first, I didn't believe it. And I thought, how could this possibly work? But it does. Now, you could, you could put this through a ricer. And make it even smoother. We just did it with the masher, so really simple. I've got, so I've got. We some... often don't test our recipes. We don't. We just make them, and this is. But we actually have. To, we did a little <laughs> quick test on this one the other day, we did. and we didn't tell Christine how we made it, <laughs> and we gave it to her, and she was amazed at how nice it was. Yes, indeed. So, so this is a different flavour. So this, chips. the thing about this that we found, we use plain chips to make this mash. We made a plain salty mash. But this is a bacon mash, so it's really, really different. A bacon-flavoured mash. I, I've never thought you could ever make anything like this. So really interesting. A little tiny milk in there. We'll get a little bit of extra loveliness going. You could put some cream in there too, I suppose, if you really wanted to. It's a bit noisy. Sorry about that. Look, it's already made mash. It has made mash. There it is. It's really that simple. We might bring that bowl over. And Look at that. Oh, Look at that. That's that. creamy mash if I've ever seen it. You could make it even creamier. The more time you spend with the masher on it, the better it gets. Yep, I'm going to go over and pop over the fish while I'm just doing that. And I'm going to grab a little thing there. That one's going really nicely. Ooh, something wanted to come with that. A peeler. <laughs> a peeler wanted to come with that. Beautiful. I'm going to turn that over. Ooh, that's a bit hot. But that's just the paper burnt, so that's okay because we haven't turn burned the fish. To... I'm going to turn it down to about six, five. Let's go five while I make the rest of this. I'll leave that there. <laughs> oh, look, this looks so good. Chef, let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to tell you, this is the most amazing thing ever it is come and have a try girls it is truly truly amazing um come and have a try of this bacon mash it is stunning so have a little try of that there you go have a try bacon oh bacon mashed potatoes what a beautiful there I'm it is glad there's another cup in it. <laughs> that's fantastic i'm going to get a serving plate. No, we bought a whole carton. I'm going to get a serving Whoops. plate. Maybe we like mashed potato. Oh my goodness Maybe me! We like bacon. I'm going to get it. Get it, Get this they're into actually, a nice little. They're a special flavour made, and yeah, they're one of my favourite flavours. Bacon. Mm. Well, you just wouldn't think. You just wouldn't think that you could possibly do this. This is like. When I first saw it, I thought, what are they doing here? This is some sort of hoax, and it's not real. Um, but you know what? It actually has worked. This is the, only the second time we've done this, and this is with a flavoured um, chips. So imagine, you can imagine the flavoured chips that are already out there, barbecue, salt and vinegar, sour well, cream, chili. Eh? chili, sweet chili chips, um, sour cream and chives, and you can do this this simple it's really quite amazing. So, um, whoops, a little mess in the sink. That's all right. 
I am going Not to... your house, right? Not my house, no. Um, <laughs> look at that beautiful place. Yes. So this gorgeous that. plate, thank you. Uh, this is, comes from Janet. Hello, Janet. Your plates are being used on the show today, that's for sure. Thank you, Janet Fantastic. and George. Now, we did get, um, we've and got a... Janet Robbins has just joined us. Oh, hello, Janet. Um, I think I need a drink. wonder how our fish is going. Um, I'll go and have a check out of our little fish. But it doesn't take that long to make it, right? I'll just have a little peek. Oh, yeah, it's okay. That is perfect. We will plate that up very shortly. And perfect and perfect. Okay, I'm going to turn both those. I think he was describing us then, Christine. Did you hear that? Perfect, perfect and perfect. Perfect and perfect. Now, we're going to bring the fish over in a second. <laughs> I'm going to bring the asparagus over as well. We were at a function this week. And we met some lovely people. We met uh, Alan and Mandy, who own Bunya Red Farm. And their farm, on their farm, they make capers. And they are the only capers growers in Queensland? I think they, they when they first started, they were. I think there may be a couple of smaller ones, but they are the biggest caper farm. Biggest caper farm. So we have a couple of products from them. We have a little caper salt. We have some little salted capers. And we also have some gorgeous caper berries, oh. and they are spectacular. And we're going to put a little bit of these things over top of our um, fish. Hey, Brenda. <laughs> Hello, I hope Brenda. you can, I hope you and Guy and Jack are doing well today. Now, I'm going to bring this over. This is a looks looks burnt, but it's not burnt. It's just the just paper that's paper. burnt. It's got this beautiful flavour. The fish is cooked nicely. I'll just get this, all the juices in here. I'm going to pull this bit of fish out, this gorgeous piece of fish. Look oh, at this. I'm going to lay wow. this up on top of here like that. Oh, and That's all right. It's got its own mind. I'm just going to get it like that, this beautiful piece of fish. I shall move our, move our little plate into there. We don't need that anymore. And I will get our, I think I've got uh, tingy tongy tongs in here. There's a pair. Brenda, does the kitchen look familiar? <laughs> we have gorgeous, gorgeous asparagus, just like that, wrapped in yeah. seaweed, absolutely perfect. Now, we've got some nice little capers, and I'm just going to get a few of those because they definitely deserve to be on this fish. A couple of nice little capers. Come on, salted capers too, and we love capers, so they are beautiful. Look at that. We have a, 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 some salt, just for like when they are in the production, they have a little leftover. They put it with some salt, and so you have a caper salt. So we've had no salt on this at all yet today, but here it is now. A little bit of caper salt. It's are just all raining? about. Well, I'm not raining anything, so it's just putting a bit of salt over the top of it We're like that. Not playing rain gods. We We're not playing rain gods. And then I am going to get out of here, I'm going to get a couple of beautiful caper berries. Yeah. So here we go. Oop, oh, one fell down, but that's okay. I think that might be a heather. That might be a heather berry. Now, the best thing about Apparently caper not. berries is you just grab them like this. Yum. And pull it and eat the end off. Can you do that? Just that please? easy. So, a couple of caper berries. Can you do the caper berry again, please, Jimmy? Um, eat the caper berry? Yes. Okay, We're sure. Still focused. Still focused. So, beautiful caper berry. Like that. Now, if you have a look, there's a caper berry here that just opened up. And they've got like lots of little tiny seeds inside them. They are so gorgeous. They're great on a charcuterie platter as well. They're really nice. They're great. The ultimate in... snack, really. And I think they would be perfect with champagne. So absolutely yeah. perfect with champagne because they have that wonderful salted finish to them. So look, that's our dish today. I think the salt, the caper salt, and the capers would make a great uh, martini. So I'm going to I'm going to thank our our friends and customers from Troy Howard right through to Mark and his wife for the beautiful lemonade um, lemonade lemonade fruit yeah. um, to our new friends. 
Alan and Mandy for the capers, which are really fantastic. And of course, the other projects we've got. And Janet for this nice plate and all of the service that we've just got as well. Uh, it's champagne time. We are going to have some beautiful fish. It's going to be so tasty. It's absolutely perfect. We'll take some great photos of that. And you know what I want to say? Cheerio for now. Cheerio. Cheerio. Ha, ha, ha.